Hey guys, welcome back to Nextgen Blog. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can apply masking in VSTC Pro version. Now, it's actually super easy to apply masking in VSTC Pro. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo video in the editor. So, this is my demo video present right here. And what I intend to do is I intend to blur the face of this particular person in my demo video. And the way I will do that is by creating a mask which will follow the face of this particular person in my video. And then we will kind of pixelize that particular mask or we will blur that particular mask. So I know it sounds complex but it is not really. So let's just get started. Now the first thing which you need to do is you need to place the cursor at the beginning of the video like this and next right click on top of the screen and then select this option called create movement map. Now this save as dialog will open up and you need to write the name of your movement map file. So let me just write the name of my movement map file as M map and now let me just click on the save button now the moment you click on the save button the motion tracker window will open up and you will see this selection box appear on screen now you need to adjust the selection box where you want to blur or pixelize on screen and as you can see I have successfully adjusted the selection box around the face of my subject right here alright and now once you do this you need to click on this option called start analysis and what this will do is it will create a movement map around the face of my subject so what it means is wherever the face of my subject moves on screen or in the video a movement map will be generated according to that so we need to wait till this entire analysis is over so let's just wait for a couple of seconds All right, so the analysis is over and after the analysis gets over, you need to click on this option called apply editing. Now you will see this warning message. So you need to simply click on yes. Perfect. Now the next thing which you need to do is you need to create a duplicate of this particular video. So click on this video press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now turn off the visibility of the video which is below so click on this video which is below and then click on this i option which is present on the left side perfect now double click on the video which is present at the top and what we will do is we will use the ellipse object to create an ellipse around the face of my subject so let me just go to add object and then select ellipse and now click on ok now create an ellipse around the face of your subject like this so right here at this particular position I want to blur or I want to pixelize so as you can see I've created an ellipse around the face of my subject and you need to change the color of your ellipse object from white to black so look inside the ellipse object settings which is present inside the properties window and below you will find this color option where currently white is selected so click on this three dots select black 
and then click on OK. Now click on this blend option and then select this option called inverted mask. Perfect. And now double click on the ellipse object and right here we will import our movement map file which we had saved earlier. So you need to go to add object, you need to go to movement and then you need to select this option called movement map. Now inside object position settings our movement map file is already present and it is already selected. So you simply need to click on the OK button. Perfect. And so let's see how things are looking on screen. So as you can see, I've created an ellipse object, which is kind of following the face of my subject. And let's just turn on the visibility of the video, which is present below by clicking on this eye icon. And now double click on the video, which is present at the top. One final thing which is left to be done is to add a pixelize effect. So go to video effects, go to filters, select pixelize and then click on OK. Now look inside the pixelize settings, which is present inside the properties window. And right here you will find this cell size option where currently the value is 10 pixels. So delete this value and write 50 and then press enter. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly go back to the main editing timeline and play this entire thing for you from the start. Now as you can see, I've successfully blurred the face of my subject and that blur is kind of moving along with my subject. So let me just quickly play this video for you once again. So this is how you can actually apply masking in VSTC Pro version. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.